today in Godo we want to begin implementing a way to interact with the objects. Because of the Godo node based structure, it is more aligned to work with what is called composition pattern, where we create an interactable node scene and then assign it to interactable objects, to set objects as interactable. So create a new scene called interactable with root type collision shape 2D. Let's add script to our interactable object. Create a new method interact, which we will be calling when interacting with this interactable object. Inside, let's post some message into the console. Good. We have interactable object. Let's give it a default shape. I will use circle shape 2D. Now we want to describe the process of playing interacting with interactable objects. So create interactable manager node on our player character. Add a new script called interactable manager. To detect object in front of us, we will use shape cast. Shape casting allows us to detect collision object by sweeping its shape along the cast direction determined by target position. Set the shape. To be able to use it for interact, create a field for the shape cast 2D. Build the game so we will be able to reference our shape cast in the editor. Now we need to identify when a player is interacting with the world. So inside interactable manager we will be waiting for input from the player to initiate an interact process. Make a new input action called interact. Make sure the name of the input action is exactly the same. So now we can grab the result of the shape cast. Cycle through all the results of the shape cast by using get collision count. And we can grab the object by using get collider. To test this, let's print the name of the object into the console. To test this, let's print the name of the objects inside the uh, shape cast into the console. 
Let's test this. If I press E while walking around and hugging houses, you will get messages of objects in front of the player. So let's make a new object on the scene, an interactable object. Let's say it is a chest. I have this chest sprite. You can find the link to download those sprites in the description. Add this chest sprite on the scene. Change the settings so it show only one chest. And now we want to set it as interactable. So simply add interactable scene to the chest. The collision shape require presence of one of rigid body type component. So because it will be stationary object, let's add static body 2D to it. This will mark this object as interactable. Make sure the interactable scene position is in middle of the parent node. So now I will be able to detect the static body of our chest. We will take a break here. In the next episode, we will interact with the interactable script of the object and take the rotation of the character into the account when we are using the shape cast.